Hello everyone, this is Sarah Anma from artofrelationship.net with another love moment for you. Today's topic is how good is your word? And I'm always reminded of the divine act of commitment. And this applies to any commitment that we make. Marry, uh, to change our lives, to release a disempowering habit, whatever it is. And in it, this culture, we really seem to throw the word around without taking it seriously. We can think we've committed to something while well, actually we've made a mild agreement uh, with lots of loopholes that we can jump through later and get out of it. Additionally, we tend to find it as a restriction of our freedom when in fact, freedom lies in making a decision to take one path instead of standing at the crossroads wondering which way to go. One of my teachers, Yogi Bhajan said, Without commitment, there can be no happiness. And I've come to see that the, this is so true. My commitment is my divine pact with the universe and myself to co-create a life of purpose and service. This absolutely includes my marriage, as my husband and I learn to overcome daily speed bumps and unforeseen obstacles together, our experience of love deepens beyond measure and beyond our imagination. I would have never known this had I continued my pattern of cut and run when things became difficult. The power of choice is huge, but it can be debilitating, especially if we are off-center or uncertain of ourselves in any way. I often see people wondering if they've made the right choice, you know, waffling back and forth. Others who have given up simply because they don't know what they want and need. When we make decisions based on what is available instead of our innermost needs and highest good, we leave ourselves open to waffling and uncertainty. We can get quiet, when we can get quiet, get real and make this commitment to our highest potential. We have infinite possibilities to co-create lives on purpose, meaning, on, based on meaning and on service. So your assignment, take one aspect of your life that you would like to change and make the commitment to do whatever it takes to change it without judging yourself. So if you mess up, just go back to the commitment. When we approach ourselves with kindness, often the struggle just falls away. Thank you so much for joining me, Sarah Anma, artofrelationship.net. We'll see you next time.